This is Cherry at Taste LA. This is Sunday. We're having the street festival, which all the food trucks and all the little independent restaurants. It's going to be a great time and a lot of fun with some great food. Let's go on inside and see what's going on. Very welcome. So what are you doing today at the Taste? We have a demo of five. We're feeding everybody gnocchi and pork belly with the fried eggs on it. Life cannot be better. Nothing's better when cooked by a handsome Italian. Nothing is better with the fried eggs on it. <laughs> cool, then we will see you at five. Pleasure meeting. We've got the sweets going. Wow, I've already started my tasting here at LA Taste with a cream caramel flan from the Cream Caramel LA. It looks delicious and tastes even better. Wow. Caramelly and creamy, love it. What else do they have around here? Oh, they have Thai, they have cast iron gourmet, they have Akasha. LA Times is here, which is one of the main sponsors. And I think I'll try a little bit of wine with my plant. Yeah. Wine made with a 12 different herbs, like a, with a, like a ginseng and ginger stuff like that. Okay. And but uh, that one is um. The dry one is the dry version and then the sweet version. And then my young jack. Young jack, open jack, that's the raspberry one. That's the raspberry one. And draft macaulay, that's the one. Oh, okay, and you guys were established in 1952. That's uh, actually, this, uh, actually, yes. Um, the the books and that is especially in 1952. Okay, so it's all rice wine. I don't think I've ever had rice wine. Yeah, it's like a Korean traditional wine. <laughs> cool, so I'd like to try one. Thank you. Which one? The, the, the pink one. Okay. The Nature's Bakunja Bakunja means a red Wow, look at what's going on at the wine mix stage. At 4.30, Justin Warner from New York's Do or Dine is here. Let's see if he has a moment to speak with us about his theory of wine. Is it bargain or bling? Thanks hey. for speaking with me. So I see that you're doing bling versus bargain. You What's it. your theory about that with wine? Well, sometimes I think that uh, it's, uh, it's all in our minds and that when you're put to the test and you know that one option is more bling or more bargain than the other, oftentimes our palates actually confuse us. And so I'm kind of here to demystify that you get what you pay for. That's true. A lot of times you do. But a lot of times you can be pretty darn happy, you know, without paying so much. So what's your favorite bargain wine? Uh, anything from Alsace. Anything from Alsace? Really? Yeah, anything from Alsace. I've never really had a, a bad Alsatian wine. Something I thought was like pukey or terrible. <laughs> okay. I, I love Alsace. Really? I can get a tattoo, yeah. So I'm totally going to have to check that out the next time I'm at the wine shop. Yeah, as for Alsatian wines, uh, I mean, you can get up there in terms of money, but uh, I would say that anything that's under 30 bucks is perfectly acceptable for any dinner party, and anyone who turns up their nose at that doesn't know what they're doing. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Super pleasure. You're looking fabulous. I love your yellow. Thanks. You too. Bye. So here we are at the Cool House truck here at Taste LA. As you can see, they started this really fun ice cream truck with high really interesting flavored ice creams, homemade cookies, and they've been going around LA for a couple of years now. They have a truck now in New York, and they are going to be opening up a storefront in the next couple of months. I think I'm going to check out an ice cream and get the Guinness chip ice cream with a double chocolate cookie sprinkled with gray sea salt. It sounds delicious on this really hot summery day. Hi. Hi. Wait, so what's your name? I'm Freya Estrella. I'm one of the co- co-owners of Cool House Ice Cream Sandwiches. Hi Freya, I'm Hi. Cherry. Cherry, oh, I know, Cherry LA? Yeah, yeah I, I tweet it, I'm always asking oh. you guys to come play, and you guys always yeah. like, no. Wait, you like the sour <laughs> cherry ricotta, <laughs> out, right? I like that one, but I love the Thai ice cream. Oh, the Thai ice cream. That one, one I, awesome. I had it yeah. once when you guys were on La Brea, and I, it blew my mind. Awesome, I was like, oh my God, it gorgeous. It tastes exactly like Yes, it's like, taste, I, 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 I immediately, emailed yeah. all my friends, I'm like, I yeah. found my summer ice cream. <laughs> it's awesome. true, it's a really refreshing. Yeah. What's so nice to finally be, I, I read everything on Twitter. So I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I spend a lot of time on Twitter. 
So what's your name? I'm Natasha. I'm Hi, Heather. Natasha. Co-owner. Yeah. I'm so excited to be speaking with you guys. Absolutely. I love your ice cream. Thank it has you. totally gone straight to my hips. And happily my boobs, which is, you know, that's <laughs> good. So I want to talk to you about your cool hog. Yeah. It is awesome. I love the edible ice cream holders. Yeah. I love the crazy flavors. I love, love, love the cookies. I was wondering, how do you come up with the flavor combinations for the ice cream? I think, I don't know. I we really like savory and sweet desserts. So like anything we, you know, like for example, we went to like Moza, right? And there's a, there's this like butterscotch budino rosemary ice cream dessert there. I was like, I want to do a butterscotch, like olive oil, rosemary uh, ice cream. Like, let's yeah. do it, you know? So, yeah, it, so I think it's just, in, in, yeah, in inspiration from just going out to eat everywhere else and kind of the stuff that yeah, we like. Yeah, like the sushi eat. ice cream sandwich and wasabi ice cream with the ginger <laughs> cookie. So you can, you know, play on that. <laughs> And sometimes we do custom flavors for, for movies that we cater or for private parties and they end up sticking on the So what is your background as far as coming up with the Cool Haws, making ice cream as opposed to making uh, cookies or making fish or making tacos? Yeah. I don't know, I think, well, Natasha has more of a... Yeah, I will, you know, we both, um, we have no culinary training for more. Okay. Uh, although now we, we do. Well, now we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that, you know, with dessert, you can definitely be a hobby and make very seriously, especially in ice cream. Um, once you kind of get the basic format out, it really lends itself to experimentation, having fun, and playing with different flavors, uh, savory and sweet. So we just sort of, you know, taught ourselves and just did a lot of research by eating all the time. And I think um, we're really attracted to dessert because dessert's really fun and it's very, like, you know, warm and, and friendly, and that's what we were trying to achieve with uh, the architectural theme, is making it really warm and friendly through the food. So what do you guys enjoy most about the truck versus your new stand-in store? in Culver City at the bakery, Helms yeah. Bakery. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's near there. Well, the store's almost open. It'll be open in like, hopefully, in a month oh, or two. It's been yeah. totally delayed as usual. Yeah. yeah, so it's supposed to be open in July, and I've been like yeah. looking, and yeah. I've been like, what? Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know, I think the funnest part of, you know, it, it's funny, now people ask like, what do, what do you and Natasha do? You're not in the truck anymore. And I was like, we answer emails all yeah. day, but I, but the funnest part is being on the, the yeah, truck. Yeah, engaging with the customer, and engage, yeah. seeing people react to how delicious the sandwiches are. It's, uh, that's really inspiring. That's the funnest part. <laughs> how did you guys come up with today's flavors? Uh, so we wanted to go sort of... We wanted to go gourmet and show off some of our, our newer flavors. So yes. the pineapple um, cilantro, it's actually cilantro, not mint. And serrano chili is a new summer sorbet that we okay. debuted. Yeah. Um, the pistachio black truffle is just elegant and, and luxurious. It's, and it should be, you know, it's a little different. So I think at these kind of, you know, food festivals, you want to give something uh, that people can remember. Yeah. And be. And, this is a food event with alcohol, yeah. so we had to yeah. do al alcoholic ice cream. So Guinness chip, you use Guinness and coffee to make an ice cream. And also the sugar root banana named after sugar root bomb, the architect. It's a banana's rum foster, so there's rum oh, wow. in there yeah. and spices like cinnamon and yeah. banana, yeah. obviously. Yeah, you oh, can't go wrong with any combination. Well, I think I'm going to try the Guinness chip ice cream with the, do you recommend the double chocolate? Yeah. Sprinkle with Gracie. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much for speaking yes. with me. Yes. Yeah, and thank you for starting Cool House. You of guys course. made my summer. Oh, thank awesome. you. Enjoy. So nice to meet you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Great to meet you. Yeah. It was great Thanks meeting you. Great to meet you. It was great to meet you. 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 Great
Okay, ladies. Can I get just across the use? Can I get that? There you go. Close enough. GQ Magazine's most complex mole. So you have a black mole. We got black mole, chicken breast, tomatoes. Well, you know what, Josh? I'm going to have to try it. Try it out. Black mole is very complex sauce. It's got about 20 ingredients in it. Includes uh, the one 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 bread, plantain, hints of chocolate at the end, and a lot of chili. Oh, it is spicy. It's very smoky. Right? It's delicious. Smoky, rich, and complex. Now, where are you located? We're on Olympic and Normandy, Koreatown. Oh, Mexican food in Koreatown. Yeah. If you, from the outside, it looks like Korean building, and you walk in, you're like, yeah, so do you guys have the Korean tacos too? No, no, no. we're authentic, authentic <laughs> Oaxaca. I mean, like you need a passport to get in there. You're just taking it back from Korea. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no, no Mexican. Thank you so much. This is Hi. Hi. Bella, talk to me, Bella. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Would you like to try one of our Zeppeli as well? Be yeah. hot, be careful, and lean over when you eat it so you don't make a mess. So they're like donuts. They're exactly like donuts. Oh, Dante. So tell, talk to me, talk to me. So tell me about your truck. Uh, I've never heard of Rosa's Bella Cuisine on TV. Well, the story goes like this. Rosa's Bella Cucina, we're an Italian deli on meals. My family has a deli in New Jersey called the Palmer Brothers. And for over nine years, I was doing the Zeppeli stand at the San Gennaro Festival, which these are the Zeppeli. And everyone kept asking me where I was located. And then from there, I was like, hey, I'm gonna do my thing, and here we are. We got a custom-built truck with a deli counter and slicer and all that as well. Oh gosh, how long so, have you been around? Uh, September will be a year. Oh, congratulations! The end of September is gonna be a year, so we'll, we're, we're babies. We're little babies out in the street, <laughs> just doing my thing, trying to get the Italian culture out there. Well, I love Italian, so well, I'm gonna have to like take a big here. bite. Um. Be careful, lean over. I told you, it's the, the powdered sugar lean. <laughs> Be careful, oh they're my very gosh, hot, this is okay? <laughs> you have it all over, all over. It's sexy, sugar is sexy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rosa. Come by anytime, we're here all night, honey. Here you go. Be careful, they're hot. Oh, oh that's perfect you. with the Bloody Mary. Yeah. Yeah. I just need a big, I need a big wine. Is there any possibility of this? Wow, here I am at the Snow Cone Amour. Hi! I'll see you at the last show. I'll see you at the last show. Oh, okay. So which flavor do you have? I have a mojito. The mojito? So let's see your first bite. Yummy, very mojito-y. Yes, it is. Hi, what flavor do you have? Coconut. Oh, coconut? Oh, very yummy. I think I'm going to try water and basil. So who's the um, founder of it? Hi. We didn't come up with this great idea. Oh, you guys are every Sunday at the Hollywood Farmer's Market. So to add to this really distinct flavor, it's like you guys did the Thai steamed rice and the dessert. That looks so refreshing. How long have you been around? Two years. All the time. Two years? Oh, seasonal. Oh, seasonal, yes. So but it's hot all year in LA, so you guys are probably around 10 months out of the year. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't wait to try it. Water bit.